Allah the Exalted is the uncreated light of the heavens and the earth. Al-Quran chapter 24 verse 35 The one who does not beget and is not begotten. Purely out of his love, he created the first light. The one who is the most beloved of Allah, the pure soul of the beloved Muhammad, peace of Allah be upon him. He was made a prophet before the creation of the first man, the father of mankind, Hazrat Adam, peace of Allah be upon him. Allah sent all his prophets and messengers for the guidance of humans and genies, beginning with Hazrat Adam to Hazrat Isa, Jesus the Christ, peace of Allah be upon all of them. All of them carried the light of guidance and called their nations to the worship and obedience of the one true God of unity, not the forged concept of Trinity. The God of Ibrahim, as we know, through the perfectly preserved Quran and the traces of which are also found in the grossly manipulated Gospels that exist even today. It was the fate of the mountains and the valleys of Mecca which eagerly awaited the physical appearance of the first created light, the final messenger of Allah, the beloved Muhammad, the son of Abdullah, the son of Abdul Mutlim, the son of Hashim, the son of Abdul Munaf, the son of Qusay, the son of Kelab, the son of Murrah, going all the way back to Ismail, through Abraham to Nu, from Nu to Adam, the mercy of Allah on all of them. The Christians and the Jews who had lived in Medina for hundreds of years before the birth of the final messenger in the historical proof that they awaited the arrival of the blessed light of Muhammad, peace be upon him, the detailed news of which was also present in their scriptures until it was removed from it. The arrival of the light occurred in the blessed month of Rabbi al-Awwal, the Monday of the 12th approximately 53 years before his famous migration to Medina. The reason why Medina is called Illuminated City is due to the light of Muhammad. Be upon him. The Quran mentions the arrival of this light in the world in chapter 5, verse 15. Definitely to you, O mankind, from Allah came a light and a clear book. In this verse, the coming of the light is mentioned before the coming of the book, following the sequence of arrival. In chapter 33, verse 45 and 46, Allah declares, O esteemed Prophet, indeed we sent you as a witness, a giver of glad tidings, a warner of divine accountability a divinely authorized inviter towards Allah and an illuminated light. This verse contains a secret for the seekers of prophetic light, the word Sirajum Manira, meaning an illuminated light, lamp, sun. How so? Since the light is illuminated in any case, every light does illuminate others, but the illumination of the light itself points towards the light of Muhammad reflecting the uncreated light of Allah like a perfected mirror whiter towards Allah and an illuminated light. This verse contains a secret for the seekers of prophetic light. The, wo- the words Sirajam Munira means an illuminated light, a lamp, sun. So how? Since a light is illuminated in any case, every light does illuminate others, but the illumination of the light itself points towards the light of Muhammad reflecting the uncreated light of Allah like a perfected mirror. We celebrate his physical appearance in this world in the month of Rabiul Awwal while we celebrate his light every day throughout the year by following his illuminated guidance. He was sent to a place where resided the darkness traits among humans filled with all kinds of evil and generations of rivalry since the value of light can only be known in contrast to the darkness, which it repeats. Yet his guidance was not confined to any place or time like that of previous messengers. He is the prophet of the entire universe and for all times. The beloved Muhammad, peace of Allah be upon him, changed the people of Mecca with his peaceful struggle and wisdom. He moved to the city of Medina upon the invitation of tribes 
of Medina to end their centuries of bloodbath. His light was the reason the city of Medina is known as Al Madina Al Munawwara, the illuminated city. He defended he defended citizens of Medina with the principles of justice and mercy, even for the enemies who sought to destroy him. He was merciful. Thus the Quran declares in chapter 21, verse 107, And we did not send you, O beloved, except as a mercy for all the worlds. He changed the people into enlightened pillars. He changed the people into enlightened pillars of humanity and prosperity. And through them, his guidance kept on spreading across the globe. He changed the people into enlightened pillars of humanity and prosperity and through them his guidance kept on spreading across the globe affecting people of all colors and destroying the barriers of racism and oppression. Just like his light which preceded his physical birth, his light continues after his physical demise, illuminating hearts and minds until the end of times. The celebration of his birth is the celebration of the triumph of humanity for all people. We have seen the leaders of all the religions come together with the Muslims in expressing their gratitude to the one God who bestowed humans with the blessing of Muhammad. Peace of Allah be upon him forever.